Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. I think summer's gone. Oh dear. Cheers. What? What? What are you waiting for? Oh, oh, oh. Aha. What's this? Hang on. Wait. Up. What's this? Oh. Yum, 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 yum. Wait. Oh, just right for the dog. Are you a good boy? Come on, up. Here. Wait. Gentle. Okay, off you go. <laughs> right. Ah, what am I doing? I know. Ah, this is a Dendrobium kingianum that I went and bought at the uh, Burley Orchid Society auction last week. And I don't know if it's going to be in need of simply repotting because I like larger specimens or dividing. And this one's Burgundy Bride, crossed with Victorian Bride White Lip, crossed with King Yanum Valdon. And it's done. Nothing out of the ordinary about the flower. It's, it's nice. It's nice. Pleasant fragrance. I don't think it's a show quality uh, King Yannam. Wow! Let's find out what we've got. Now, I didn't see any new growth around the side, so I might be able to get it out without damaging anything. It's tight. It's really tight. What is that? I don't know which of these is going to fit. Now, take one of those. And if you start pushing through from the bottom, wherever there's a hole, sometimes, sometimes you can get them out. A lot of the uh, Australian dendrobiums, when they start putting out their, their roots, they will attach well and truly, I don't know. <laughs> it's a crowded pot. Oh, I saw some movement. There we go. I'll find that later. Nice coarse mix. Doesn't smell bad. It's not badly broken down. That's good. Now, I can't feel a natural division, so I'm not going to tear it apart. I like large specimens, or larger. So, that's the way it's going to be. A larger specimen. Now, do we have any newspaper hiding down here? Hopefully so, yep, that I've already torn up. Because uh, my mix has some uh, fine horticultural sand in it. Oh, uh, two. Two, please. Crossways. And a lot of that stuff will just go through the bottom. So I try and uh, keep it together until the roots uh, settle in. 
What have we got in here? Move this over. Where's my cup? There it is. All right. Wait a minute. No, we're going to do it differently. We're going to fill up that hollow first. to be able to get the potty mix. What's this? Uh, otherwise I'm not going to get, be able to get the potty mix into the middle of this root ball without tearing it apart. And now I can pack it around the sides. nice one, but uh, nothing I'd rave about, but I only paid ten dollars for it. And uh, being a named variety, I'd rather keep these, and I'm trying to uh, call out my uh, unnamed variety by planting them in trees, giving them away. I haven't been throwing too many of them away unless they just don't look like they're going to uh, be viable. Because uh, I'm not convinced that just because they're not show bench quality they need to go in the bin. So, uh, I don't think this is going to need much more. I'll pack it down around the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bit, there's a bit more in there. Give it a bump. Give it a bump or two. And I try and keep the... Uh, the base of the plant fairly even with the top of the pot. Some people plant them too deep. And I also don't like them standing up too proud because then the water runs off too much. I think that might be all right. Press it down nice and firm. By Jove, I think he's got it. Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah. What have a king yam? As if I need another king yam. Yeah, right. Messy, messy. All right. Now relabel, repot it. Oh, potted up last time on the 2018, October 2018. Now it's uh, six of the third, 2023. It was potted up. Um, 2014, 2018, 2023. So it's doing fairly well. Oh, see, some of the, the fines already coming through where they got around the paper. But that's it. Potting up a dendrobium kingianum. If I was going to divide it, I would have caused a lot of damage. 
and I really can't see where I would want to divide it. Maybe through here, but nah, it'd make a mess of it. And it would also set it back in flowering. I cut off all the old flower spikes, not very neat on that one. And uh, been trimming up some of the leaves. I'll uh, take off a few more of those. But um, overall, 10 bucks, that's okay. That's it. Wayne's Weird World. I think we've run out of summer. According to the calendar, it is now autumn. Mm. Warmer in the greenhouse. Shade house, not so much. Oh well. Going through the autumn doldrums. Yeah. Trying to get a routine. Oh well, then last night in the bedroom, trying to sleep, I was greeted by a little mozzie, mosquito, only one, but very, very elusive little bugger, and I don't use chemical sprays of any kind, and this little bugger kept me awake between 2 a.m. and 6.30 a.m., and I finally had my phone with a screen dimmed beside my pillow and a little bugger landed on the screen and then I got some sleep but three nights in a row I've had mosquitoes around and when you don't get a good night's sleep and you don't have a good routine for when you do get up things spiral out of, out of uh, control pretty quick and then you get in the blues. Right. Ah, Rory Gallagher's birthday. I did see him in Hobart. Or not in Hobart, wait a minute. Sydney, Horton Pavilion. Brilliant musician. Anyway, well, such is life. Gone too early. That's it, Kingy Adam. Let's see what it'll do. See you next time. Cheers.